How did you send a letter in antiquity? There was no post office or publicly funded mail system, although there was an imperial system for sending messages. You might rely on a friend, an acquaintance, or even a stranger to carry your letter. Often slaves or freed persons would carry and interpret or embody the letters that they delivered to someone. We actually meet some letter carriers in Paul's letters. The letter to the Philippians, for example, mentions Epaphroditos. I have thought it necessary, Paul writes, to send to you Epaphroditos, my brother and fellow worker and fellow soldier, and your messenger and minister to my need. For he has been longing for you all and has been distressed because you heard he was ill. I am the more eager to send him, therefore, that you may rejoice at seeing him again, and that I may be less anxious. So receive him in the Lord with all joy, and honor such people, for he nearly died for the work of Christ, risking his life to complete your service to me. At the end of the letter to the Romans, we find a letter of recommendation or a letter of introduction for a woman named Phoebe. Paul writes, I commend to you our sister Phoebe, a deacon of the church at Cenchrea, that you may receive her in the Lord as befits the saints, and you may help her in whatever she may require from you. For she has been leader of many, and of myself as well. Before Facebook, before Twitter, before email or even stamps, communication and social networks did happen. And when we look closely, we can attend to the task of discovering in these letters. We find that Epaphroditos not only carried a letter, but that there was some anxiety about his sickness. We find that Phoebe not only had a letter of recommendation from Paul, but that she had an honored status and was a leader within the community.